Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. We're talking about PZM and boundary microphones today. PZM microphones were invented around 1978, and Crown actually manufactured the first commercially available PZMs around 1980. PZM microphones have some great advantages. The biggest one is that it allows for phase coherent capture of audio. There's no problem with reflections causing phase cancellation with the direct signal. PZM microphones are constructed with small diaphragm condenser elements. The capsule is mounted very close to the surface and there's a thin slot here that allows the sound to enter. What this does is ensure that reflected sound and direct sound arrives at the capsule at the same time. This pushes any phase cancellation that might occur way above human hearing. Because of this, PZM microphones have very flat response, particularly in the high frequencies. PZM or pressure zone microphones typically feature omnidirectional capsules. That capsule is mounted to the plate and that results in a hemispherical or half-circle pickup pattern. With a boundary microphone, like this Pro 44 from Audio-Technica, we have a cardioid capsule or you could have a supercardioid capsule as well. And that results in a half-space or a half-cardioid or half-supercardioid polar pattern. This is going to give you feedback rejection that's better for live use on stage. Typically a PZM or a boundary microphone is placed on a flat surface. You might hang it on a wall. In fact, this Pro 44 has slots on the back for mounting it directly to the wall. You can lay it on the floor. You can put it on a conference table. With that placement, a PZM microphone has extremely high sensitivity. Actually, that boundary improves the sensitivity of the microphone by about 6 dB. We have consistent sound quality regardless of the mic placement, and our off-axis response is very neutral. PZM microphones are resistant to mechanical noise pickup, so if you have them on a surface and there's a thump or a bump against that surface, it's not going to be picked up by the microphone. Because of their small size, it's easy to place them inconspicuously on stage. And finally, a PZM microphone provides a much flatter response than a stand-mounted microphone. So where would you use a PZM microphone? There are a lot of different applications. A great use for a PZM microphone is inside the lid of a piano. When you place a microphone on a stand inside the piano and the lid is down or half down, what you end up with is direct sound from the strings and reflected sound coming off the top and causing phase problems. With a PZM microphone right on the surface of the lid of the piano, you have no phase issues at all when you're recording. It's also great for making piano in a live sound situation. Mount the PZM to the lid of the piano, close the lid down, and you have great rejection of sound coming from other instruments. Something to try is placing a PZM in front of a kick drum. Just put it on the floor right in front of the kick drum and you'll get nice low end out of that microphone. PZM microphones are great as room mics. Just place them on the wall and they'll pick up all the ambience in the room as you're recording. PZM microphones are very common in lectures and in worship situations. Place the microphone on the pulpit, it'll pick up the preacher's voice or the minister's voice. If you're giving a lecture, again, place it right on the lectern and it'll hear exactly what's coming from the speaker. We also see PZMs commonly used in conference rooms. Place this on a table, and it'll capture the sound of everyone speaking around the table. But perhaps where you see the most PZMs is in dramatic presentations. You place these on the stage and they pick up the sound of the actor's voices all over the stage. And if you have dancing involved, a PZM on the stage will pick up the sound of the footwork. PZM microphones can also be very useful as either the primary or the secondary capture transducer for ensemble recording. With a small ensemble, place a pair of these in front of the ensemble. With a larger ensemble, space several of them across the stage to capture all of the instruments. PZM and boundary microphones make great additions to any mic locker. You'll find they're very versatile for capturing room ambience, for making interesting sounding recordings, for location recording, and for capturing dramatic presentations as well as meetings. You can find a lot of uses for these little microphones.